Greetings! On this episode, we are going to attempt to fix this broken solar panel with a hammer. Okay, really bad Jeremy Clarkson impression aside, I really am going to try to fix this broken solar panel with a hammer by busting out the old glass. I'll tell you why. Right now, this 100 watt energy solar panel is only capable of putting out 16 watts because the glass is broken so bad that it's causing the whole panel to be shaded. Now I had the solar panel pointed directly at the sun all day long. It only has the jackery up to 64%. As you can see, it's putting an input maximum of 16 watts. I've verified this on several occasions. This solar panel is no longer worth carrying around unless I can fix it. Now, one of the most annoying things I saw when I surfed YouTube for how to repair a broken solar panel was people that would just lacquer over the broken glass. Like, they would just leave the glass completely busted like this. Then they'd paint some lacquer over it or spray some polyurethane, or they'd use a piece of uh, clear plastic, sticky clear plastic stuff, or they'd put a piece of plexiglass over it. Not one single person, not one, anywhere on YouTube actually took the glass out. Because if you don't take the broken glass out, you're not gonna fix the panel. It's not gonna put out the power that it should. I just showed you right now that this panel is only putting out 16 watts. You're probably wondering, okay, well, how many volts is it putting out? And that's what is deceiving everybody on YouTube. Look, right now, it is putting out 19.9 volts. See right there, the meter is hooked up directly to the solar panel which is pointed directly at the sun, which has all that busted glass, and it's putting out a 19.9 volts, which is perfect. If this was a perfectly working solar panel, it would also put out 20 volts. You can see it's flickering over to 20 volts here and there. Let me put my hand in front of it, I'll do some shade, and watch what happens when the with the voltage. I put my hand in front of it, and it goes down 0.1 volt. See, no hand, hand, no hand, hand. So it's, it's barely, it's insignificantly changing the voltage. So why is that? Let me explain to you the best I can how a solar panel works. So you see these cells here, each one of them put out about a half a volt and they're all wired here in series. Each, each one of these strips you see here, the cells are wired in series and they pretty much add up to being uh, 20 volts. So with the broken glass here, what it's doing is it's doing like a partial shading, like I can put my hand over this and it's not gonna affect the voltage, but what it does, is it affects the amps. So the, the panel amps has been reduced significantly because of all the broken glass. And that's what the dozens of YouTube channels on how to fix solar panels, they all mislead you into thinking you can just lacquer over it, lacquer over the broken glass and it'll work perfectly. No, that's absolutely wrong. That's why I was thinking, if I can bust the glass out of this, then maybe I can put a coating of something over the cells to protect them. That might be the key to reusing this broken panel. And if it doesn't work, I'll just throw it in a dumpster. Okay, I'm gonna tell you for the record, I've never done this before. I have no idea if this glass is even gonna come out. I figured I'd start the camera, try it, see if it works. I'm guessing if I bang on it enough, the glass will actually come out. And once I get started, it should come out fairly easily. And I got these heavy leather gloves, I'm wearing my glasses. I got this big, thick, heavy brown tarp down to catch any of the glass, which I'm going to just wrap up and throw away tomorrow when I go back into town. So, ooh. so I wish there was some way for me to do this without putting up against my leg. But let's just go for it. Okay, some of it's coming out. But it kind of looks like it does not want to come out. Okay. I didn't expect this. I thought it would just come right out, but it's not coming on right out. It's, it's like they glued the glass to the, uh, to the cells. 
and getting little shards. I was kind of expecting though, that it would just start falling out. What I don't like is there's powdered glass flying everywhere. Yeah, I don't know guys, I don't know if I can get this glass out at all. If it's glued in there, because it should just be falling out at this point, I figured that a couple hits of the hammer would have knocked this right out. Okay, I'm gonna cut. See if I can think of another way to get this glass out besides just banging on it with a hammer. Okay, this experiment failed. No matter how much you bang on that glass with a hammer, it's not coming out. I think the glass itself was glued to the solar cells when they manufactured the panels. So there's no easy way to get the glass out. Uh, I tried banging on the back side, banging on the front side. It looks like I'm actually starting to do some damage to the cells themselves. So this is going into the dumpster. Thought I'd have some good news for you guys, a way to fix broken solar panels, but looks like that's just gonna get thrown away and I'll have to buy a new one. So that's it for now. I hope you learned something. I certainly did. Till next time. Odin commands you to like and subscribe and clean my litter box. One of the most annoying things I saw when I surfed YouTube for how to fix a broken solar panel were people that were lacquering over the glass with some kind of substance. They would leave the broken glass in. An airplane, seriously? Hey, thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, be sure to subscribe, share, and like. And we'll see you guys next time. Say hi, Odin. Already gone, Joe Lazaro, cat.